Well, kids, it's the holiday season, and I'm all gussied up, ready to give you some of my holiday treats. Well, with all the holiday shopping and drinking and cavorting and driving around and drinking, oh, it's just so hard to find the time to make some treats. Well, I've got one here for you that's cheap and easy, just like your sister. Well, this recipe is one of my holiday favorites. It's Kasha's Christmas Cheesy Cheese Ball. I love a good cheese ball. Well, here are all the ingredients for making your cheesy balls. Of course, you need a bottle of brandy. I prefer mine served in crystal. And then, of course, you need your mother's milk. Well, not your mother's, some cow's mother's milk. You also need some butter. You need a little bit of steak sauce. You need some walnuts. Some people like to use pecans. I like walnuts myself. Nice, chopped, firm. Everybody loves nuts. And, of course, two types of cheeses, cream and shredded. Mr. Limburger, paging Mr. Limburger. Feta and Roquefort and Doppelhamster fruits of fruits and sousels. Oh, my. Everything's coming up, Hobbit's in blue cow. For me and for you. Mutton button. Stinking Bishop from under. I don't know if that one really is a cheese. If it's good enough for me, it's good enough for you. Oh boy. Well, first, girls, you gotta pour yourself a glass of brandy because we gotta get this party started on a Monday night or whatever night it is because you have no life. All right, all you have to do now is put all of your ingredients into the mixing bowl, and then it's time to whip it. Oh, yes, we're going to whip it good. Now remember to hold on to your nuts until you're finished beating your cheese. I think it could use a little bit more brandy, don't you think? I like brandy. Oh, that... That might be too much liquor. Liquor? I barely know her. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll just pour this little extra brandy back there in the glass. You know, you don't want to waste liquor. That would be a crime. <laughs> no, waste not, want not. That's what they always say about me. Well, now you take your ball mixture and you stick it in the Frigidaire and we're back to low budget because of this economy. Thanks, Bush. So we're sticking it in the refrigerator. There it goes. It's chilling all night or until this bottle of brandy is gone, whichever takes longer. Well, fortunately, the producers have prepped their balls for us and we've got a set ready for you. <laughs> what? No balls? You've got no balls? Where's my balls? We didn't... We have no balls. Well, imagine, if you will, that this has set in the Frigidaire all night long. Now, you roll it into a ball. Then you take your big ball and roll it all over your nuts. Look at this. Fabulous. Well, you could maybe put some sprinkles on it to make it look all Christmassy and festive. Well, <clears throat> not only can you serve this at a Christmas party, you could serve it for Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever the hell that is. You could serve it at a Tupperware party. You could serve it at a Mary Kay party. You could serve it at one of those dirty toy parties that you people go to or a key party. I like a key party. This one you could serve it a wake. Uh, well, thank you for stopping in for some Kasha's Christmas Cheesy Cheese Ball, and uh, happy holidays from Mrs. Kasha Davis. Who the hell forgot to fluff my balls? Christmas is canceled! <laughs>